Okay, I guess the fourth time is the charm, right? So I am currently on vacation uh, at Massanet in Virginia. Um, this is an annual thing that I do. Um, so I do have my carry gun, uh, but I did not bring that Canic TP9 Elite SC that I bought recently. Uh, there is a video that I did on it. On it. Um, just a quick kind of initial impression type thing, but I didn't like it. It's it's on YouTube right now, but it's set as as private. Uh, so I wanted to kind of talk about that and use this video in lieu of the video that's set to private right now. So a couple of things, and I want this to be a real quick video. So uh, one of the things that jumped out at me when I was handling the gun, and I, you know, I've had it maybe three weeks now. I haven't taken it to the range yet, uh, so I've handled it. Um, so the first thing uh, that jumped to my mind was the fact that it's not really a subcompact. If you I guess take into account the overall size of the gun, it's roughly the size of a Glock 19. Uh, but I do believe the grip is shorter than a Glock 19, which is gonna make it print less, right? Um, so, so there's that. Um, it's roughly the size of my Grand Power P11 as well, and I've harped on that gun uh, being, you know, that that Grand Power considers to be a subcompact. I don't think it's really a subcompact, um, but anyways, um, another thing that jumped out at me was the the holster that is included with the uh, Kenick. Uh, subcompact. A lot of people are shitting on it. Um, no, it's not a Kydex, but if you compare it with uh, pre the holsters of the other gun, uh, the other Canics that it that that you know uh, came with holsters, this is certainly an improvement. Uh, also, the fact that you can change it from OWB to IWB, um, and the fact that. I actually put this on my gun belt and carried it around, carried the, the TP9 around, uh, just kind of around the house, you know, test carrying it. Um, it actually carried very well. The only problem I ran into was the fact that, let me adjust this volume here. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, the only problem I ran into was that the grip was rubbing my skin raw. So I would either have to use another holster or carry with that holster with an undershirt on which is not really feasible in in the summer you know in Virginia uh, right now it's in the 90s there have been a couple of hundred plus days um, it's very humid uh, so yeah uh, not really feasible so I am the plan is to get an N82 uh, holster they have one they have two types of holsters and they're both based on each other uh, they don't have any professional holsters, you know, with the, the shells uh, for this particular gun, um, at least for, you know, at N82 Tactical. So, uh, but I did look, so I, all the previous guns I've carried, I've used N82 Tactical Pro holsters for them, um, and they carry well. Uh, what I'm looking at is a backing that'll keep the grip off of my skin and they do have one uh but it's not a pro holster so i'm gonna buy that and test it out more than likely i'm gonna end up carrying my xd9 um, i'm gonna end up replacing my xd9 and my xd45 with the canic tp9 elite subcompact uh, i will take it to the range this week so we head back we've been here since saturday it is now tuesday um we will head back on Thursday. I'll have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to go to the range. I plan on shooting maybe 200, 300 rounds of 124 grain uh, ammo from the gun. Um, I know that the preference for this gun is 147. Uh, it prefers NATO ammo. So uh, we'll see how it does with 124 grain. If it doesn't do well, we'll go out and get some 147 grain locally. We'll test fire it. We'll catch some footage 
Um, I do have a range camera that I use for training purposes. I'll include some of that footage and uh, I'll share my thoughts. Okay, well, bye-bye.